Hi everyone, this is my first process video. I'm just, I just learned how to do a voiceover. So this is my background paper. I'm using the Studio Calico kit for May and I'm putting some mass uh, modeling paste over my mask to give it a bit of a texture. And these shapes kind of reminded me of uh, a little bit of the subject that I'm gonna be doing a layout of which you'll see shortly. Um, so I'm just drawing it with my heat gun and I'm turning it over also to get the back. So I'm hoping this works out. I did speed it up. I hope it's not too fast. I'm putting some Lindy's uh, spray in gold and just splattering that in the background. It's very faint. I'm going to be adding another color later. I'm sorry I'm off frame a little bit. Okay, I must be... Oh, I'm getting my paper together and there's my trimmer. So that is um, the paper from the kit. And that is my photo I'm going to be scrapbooking. It is my washi tape collection. And I like that um, gray and white stripe because it says uh, love you to pieces on it. And let me see what the, oh, that's, that paper is um, L Studio called Lovely Stripes. And I went for a little bit of this background paper for layering, just to give it a little pop of color. But I ended up making it too big, so I do a lot of cutting. I'm just thinking about my placement. And I like this gray design, this swirl design. I believe that's Studio Calico. I decided to forego that gray and white stripe diagonal. So this is the hardest part for me. I change it up a lot. And this is the um, Studio Calico up and up paper. I really like this. I end up um, cutting it a different way. I end up cutting it kind of like so it looks like arrows. pointing into my washi tape collection. I'm just cutting it down and layering it. And I am going to put my title there, so I had to think about where to put that longer arrow strip. This is just a Studio Calico card that came with the kit, and I figured since it was my first layout, um, I wanted to put that little Studio Calico um, label there. And it's a little yellow um, chevron. I have a little hard time using this new little tape runner. And I'm kind of building my layers from the top down.
Sorry, I just had to stop it and uh, hope this is going okay. Just trimming a little bit of that. I had to lift up some of the um, the photo because I taped it too close to the edges and I wanted to be able to layer things underneath. And these are the new um, basic gray transparency stickers. And I'm just experimenting with to with this color, but then I find it detracts a little bit from the photo. You, you'll see I'll I'll be removing it or covering it up. Let's see. It kind of had a little strip, which I liked. Actually, now that I look at that top and bottom um, embellishment area, I, I kind of like it, but, and I don't end up using those stars. Now I'm cutting a, um, a fishtail and going to cover up, put the light pink in place of that basic gray washi tape. Sorry I'm off frame a little bit. I got lots to learn. So I don't know, I went with the pink, but I like both. Adhering that down, curling up the edges a bit. Not sure what I'm doing here. Must be working on the bottom embellishment cluster there. I do actually like those three stars. Okay, just adding a little bit more to the layers. I was thinking about making an arrow there, but then I thought, no, it's going the wrong direction. And these labels are from the kit, and I added those. I think they give a little pop. I, at first I thought they were too dark, but I think they add a nice contrast. And I didn't know I was experimenting with that hemp twine, and I thought, no, it's, it's really too heavy for this layout. I think I might add it to a more nautical type theme. Let's see, what am I doing now? This actually is the fun part. Oh, this is the stamp that came with this kit. And it says this with a line. So I'm probably looking for the right color ink. I don't want anything too dark. Yep, so I choose a nice pink. Let me see what that color is. It's called Old Rose. <clears throat> and what am I doing now? Oh, I'm using the same old rose to, I put a camera um, stamp on the little bottom embellishment, which you can't see. And hearing that, let's see, where should I put it? Yeah, you can't see where I'm putting it, but I almost put, put a second one, but it decided against it. Let's 
So I will make sure to get better with being in frame. I'm I'm kind of cleaning up as I go because I have a lot of things in, on my workspace. So I wanted to pull that dark blue, uh, that navy, into the actual center of the layout, which I also decided against, I think. No, I think I did add it there. And I wanted to raise the whole photo on pop dots, but I forgot, so I'm just kind of putting them under certain edges. It gives a nice effect. Those are the gold sequins that came with the kit. And I learned this trick um, to plan out titles. I put the the um, the letters on paper, and then I place them. You know, move it around to see. Sorry for my head. Move it around to see where I want to put it, and it's a great little trick. And that's where I decided to put it. And I did eventually replace that eye, um, the little dot to the eye. I put like a an asterisk gold shape, which is a little bit bigger. It looks nice. Now I'm picking out letters uh, for the word love from the little wood veneers. And I'm putting those on with my Zig glue pen. They wiggle around a bit, so it's probably not the best adhesive for that, but that's what I grabbed at the time. So it's starting to come together. I'm checking out uh, the color of marker, and I believe I used like a a dusty rose color and then I'm just adding a little bit of journaling and putting the date and let's see I'm probably looking for my gold ribbon uh, adhesive tape. Yeah, there it is. I figured it needed a little touch in the layout. And I'm going to make a little banner with that. I'll get better at this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll show uh, more of what I'm doing actually on the screen. I think I'm trying to t peel that backing off. That is so hard to peel off the adhesive. There we go. I thought these just, it looked empty on either side of that love, so I'm adding some little stars, the wooden stars. And I'm finding that that glue does not, is not the best for that. So I did find some, I have some mini glue dots. I think they're called bling dots because they're very tiny and they work really well. Yep, I'm deciding I need a little brighter wa uh, sp splatter. So I took a, I think it's, uh, you know, a, a pink. <coughs> and 
and what am I doing? Okay, I think I'm Yep, I decided against the stars. So I'm putting the rest of the sequins on. And that splatter in the top middle, I end up covering that with a sequin because I just don't like the way that splatter turned out. I don't know if I have that on. Okay, I picked out another a lighter pink. Deciding where to do my journaling and I'm just writing that um, we had gotten back, I took my granddaughter to um, a creating keepsakes convention and when we got home she organized my washi tape collection <clears throat> and she organized it by color and she had a good, uh, she was really good at it. And she's only seven and when she was at the convention, she the, the um, people that worked there was giving her free things, so she got a free washi tape, and she was excited about that. But I also wanted to say that this is my collection so far, and how I'm loving my washi tape, and how it may grow larger. Whoops not sure the best way to show you close up there we go there's that splatter so I do and eventually cover that up and you know the masking <clears throat> not masking yeah the the masking I did in the background it doesn't really show up that well but just gives a little texture So what am I, oh, there's, yes, I found my little adhesive dots. 